character name, The Master, Great Sage of the Multiverse. Originally debuted January 2016. Overall look and changes. Six years ago, I released the first prologue to my Bionicle fan story, Night of Nights. And in that prologue, a mysterious character known only as The Master was unveiled. Fast forward a month later, and his first mock interpretation was unveiled. The Master was one of the first Great Being mocks I ever built, and the first to have a unique appearance. He was intended to be the crown jewel of my mock portfolio. However, the execution of his original version was highly flawed. He was my first attempt at an ambitious color scheme, using only pearl gold and old purple. His build was clunky and lumpy, with barely any articulation or stability to boot. Despite this, at the time, he was one of my best mocks, but quickly he became outshined by my newer models as time went on. After coping with his original design for years, I finally got fed up with the original's flaws and decided to revamp him using Kanaishi B's Bignicle Frame, which was very popular at the time. I then unveiled him in April 2020 as an April Fool's Day anti-prank. Obviously, with the revamp, I intentionally tried to carry over the best of the original build's character design. Here's a direct comparison between the original and current versions. Be sure to like and subscribe as it helps the channel out greatly so I can make more videos like this. Character Bio Titles and Occupations Long ago, the Master wandered the cosmic void alone, searching for his purpose. Like many great beings, he attempted to create a unique body for himself, but discovered that the void itself would rapidly destroy it in a process called entropy. Eventually, while wandering, he discovered the existence of a multiverse. As a tenth dimensional being, traditional laws of space-time don't work the same way for the Master as they do for us. So a vast and infinite multiverse to us is simply a place he could visit in his spare time. At the origin point of the multiverse, he met Sentia, the great sages who anchor and conceal the multiverse from the destruction of the Void. The Master was fascinated by the structure of the multiverse, and made an arrangement with Sentia, who allowed him to enter the multiverse to observe and experiment. There, he observed the experiments of the other great beings, and witnessed the effects they had on the universes around them. Seeing the experiments of those great beings as childish and futile, the Master decided to instead study how minor alterations to a universe could manipulate cause and effect to his favor. However, the Master found that he was unable to observe enough of the multiverse at a time to accurately predict the results of his alterations. To counter this, the Master began recruiting servants from the multiverse to do the observation for him, which is how he gained the title, The Master. The great beings eventually took notice of the Master's interference in their affairs, and some even united to oppose him. However, the Master threatened the great beings that if they ever tried to stop him, he'd deal irreversible damage to the multiverse as a whole and use his influence with Sentia to expose the multiverse to entropy. The great beings took heed of the threat and backed down. Out of fear and demand from the master himself, the great beings named him a great sage. However, none truly honor him as one. Personality Like all great beings, the master is highly intelligent when compared to most sapient beings due to being from a higher plane of reality. However, even among great beings, he is highly intelligent, often playing them for fools. The master is cocky and loves to brag about his intellect, although he sometimes finds himself lonesome due to the extreme power he possesses, which is one of the reasons he often recruits lesser beings as his servants. The master's true name is a secret, and all beings who encounter him simply refer to him as the master. Abilities and Powers As a great being, the master is from a higher plane of reality and is able to manipulate the universe around him. This allows him to create and destroy matter, energy, and spirits, but only from within the multiverse. He is unable to die or be killed. As a study, the Master is fascinated by the multiverse. He learned to maximize his observation abilities to near-omnipotent levels, which allows him to predict and manipulate cause and effect within the multiverse for his own gain precisely and accurately. 
He refers to himself as the Great Sage of the Multiverse. When the Master's power is combined with that of another great being, they gain the ability to imprison a great being within an orb of space-time, which can only be undone if two or more great beings combine their power again. Important Possessions The Master created an ornate golden throne for himself to occupy while comfortably observing the results of his work in the multiverse. Kanohi, the great being of emotion, created the Kanohi Olmec based on the Master's appearance, the Mask was given the power to create dimensional gates based on the Master's advanced control over space-time rifts. Mach Analysis Inspiration and Theme The Master is directly inspired by Yukari Yakumo, a character from the Toho Project series. His character and some aspects of his character design were based directly on Yukari. The Master also shares Yukari's theme, Necrophantasia. The Master's version of this theme is a rock remix performed by Soundholic. <laughs> Mock Features the Master's knees are double-jointed and feature knee pads which fold to fill the gaps created by this bend. Obviously, he also features a full-scale throne that he both fits and sits in, which holds him perfectly. The throne also has a toggleable third-party non-LEGO light brick inside to add a spooky effect underneath. The Master stands 15 and a quarter inches tall and 6 and a quarter inches wide. The Master's Throne is 11 inches tall, 7 inches wide, and about 6 inches deep. Mock Articulation The Master has 34 points of articulation overall. He has piston-reinforced ankles, a greater than 90 degree bend in his double-jointed knees, a complex assembly in the hips which effectively provide full hip articulation, double-jointed waist articulation, a double-jointed neck, double-jointed shoulders, a small amount of twist in his upper arms, a greater than 90 degree bend in his elbows, and full wrist and double-jointed finger articulation. Interesting building techniques. The Master is built around a heavily modified Bignacle frame, which was originally designed by Kanaishi B. He uses an interesting technique in his abdomen using these stacked Kanohi Pakari, which I learned about from the mock Kafu the Red by Logan W. The Kanohi Olmax in his chest are attached on socket joints to position them perfectly as parts of his chest plate. His upper legs are primarily bulked out using tubes over axles, which are simply held in place by his surrounding armor notable flaws. The 2015 Tahu masks are loosely connected using friction and have the tendency to pop off in certain poses. In addition, his chest plate interferes with some of the arm articulation with how far it sticks out to either side. His small feet are a bit unproportional and can sometimes make him hard to balance due to his tall stature. The big nickel frame is somewhat tedious to pose with its complicated assemblies of ball and socket joints, especially in the shoulders and hips. Fun Facts Throughout the Master and his throne, ten mask pieces are used in total. The Master was one of my first great being mocks, only preceded by Chaos. He is now my current largest mock, beating previous record holder Tobduk even while sitting on his throne overall thoughts and criticisms. 
Overall, I think it's pretty obvious that I consider this one of, if not, my best mod. He's my usual answer to the question, which is your favorite mod? And honestly, it's pretty easy to see why. He's huge, shiny, and looks like the kind of godlike being the character thinks himself to be. He definitely takes the title as the crown jewel of my mock collection, and he most likely won't be dethroned anytime soon. It's good to be back making mock reviews, and I plan to start releasing these more frequently, starting with more great beings, so sound off in the comments about who you'd like to see next. What would you rate this mock out of 10? Any questions about the build or the character? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.